What's up guys and welcome to another YouTube video. Today we are going to make a high protein, low calorie scone recipe two different ways. So what, we could, what we've got here is we've got Sprite Zero, we've got self-raising flour, we've got YoPro yogurt which is extremely high in protein which is good for gains. Um, and then we're going to be doing two different ways as discussed. So we're going to do a savory version. So I've got capsicum, spinach, mushroom, and blue cheese. I find either like a blue cheese or a prosciutto or something that's quite salty, smoky, um, will intensify what we're trying to do here. We also have um, some sun-dried tomatoes as well. So that's the savory concept. We're also just going to be doing a plain version, which is literally going to be something that you could have with jam, um, like a low-fat cream, or to be honest. All right, so I'm gonna move the camera a little bit closer just so you can see everything and getting my hands dirty here. Um, we're gonna set the oven at 170 degrees fan forced also. All right, so first of all, we are going to move our savory stuff to the side because they are irrelevant right now. Ingredient wise, we're gonna go in with two cups of flour, 150 grams of YoPro, and 150 mils of Sprite No Sugar. All right, so in we go with our dry mixture to start. So flour's in. So in we go with the YoPro. Now, I think something that's always important to note is what we're gonna do here is we're gonna actually minus it off the scale. So you could put that on and then put the yogurt in, but then you'd kind of lick the spoon and your, your macros might be off. So if you wanna be spot on, YoPro on the scales, and then we are just gonna go minus 150 grams. Gonna probably get everywhere which it has. Perfect. Okay, now we know that we are bang on. So we're gonna give this a bit of a stir, binding it all together. Should be a little bit of a workout. So as it look, once it's pretty much binded together, you're gonna to want to get in there with your hands and then start to knead it. All right, so as you can see, it's pretty much combined now. We've kneaded it for a little bit. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is divide it evenly into half for both our savory and our sweet scones. Okay, so in we go with this. Okay, so it's 5.30, so half of that is gonna be 2.65. So we're gonna pull that out. We're gonna guess that is gonna be 2.65. That is um, actually spot on 265 grams. Can we just, can you get that on camera? Look at this. That's upside down. My God, 263 on my papa. Jesus, how good. All right, so that's there, that's there. So now that we have our mixture evenly divided, so we've got 265 and 265 as discussed before, we're gonna set this one to the side because we will need them together later on, but for now we're going to get busy with our savoury scones. Okay, so, I'm just going to go in here with the capsicum, in here with the spinach, sun-dried tomatoes, and then in the corner, going to mix all these ingredients together. Man, blue cheese has such a strong smell, but I know that it's going to bring these scones to a whole other level, so it's definitely worth it. Like I said, prosciutto though would be beautiful in this as well, or any cured meat. Um, it's another way to get protein up as well. We can now roll this guy out. I've just lined um, some the baking tray with some baking paper, sorry. So we're good to go there. Now you wanna keep this nice and thick because we're gonna cut some perfect circles into it using that, this glass. All right, now we're just gonna grab this cup and we're gonna just start making some circles. So just down and then a couple of turns and then voila, perfect. That guy can go on there. Thank you. 
So we'll do the same thing for the savoury mixture as well, and then um, I'll show you once that tray is fully plated up and ready. These guys are all done. Um, we've got plain here, and then we've got our savoury guys here. Now I like to do these separately solely because um, otherwise I find that if you've got cheese in the oven and then you try and have a plain scone as well, it's not really ideal. So do them separately and you are in for a treat. Scones are done, fresh out of the oven is always the best option. Um, as explained, I'll probably have these ones with like a jam and I might have them in the morning. Um, great pre-workout snack or even post-workout. Um, and then these guys, you could add, you could cut them in half, you could add some tuna to get your protein up. Um, but otherwise they're good as is and because that yolk pro is so high in protein, you're pretty much catered for if you're having, say, a quarter of them in one go. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, do your thing. Support from you guys is amazing and I will catch you at the next one.